Okay, so hello and welcome back to another wet Christmas day. So, we are in Hamilton. And as you can see, uh, my gimbal doesn't want to play ball. So, this is just pretty much the local housing in Hamilton. And this is fairly unusual weather because I don't remember a time in which we've had so much rain during Christmas. I think today's only about 20 degrees. It's usually about 25 to 30 degrees. So, this is the old park. They used to have cricket pitches here where you could play cricket. I've to moved it up there. You've got lots of equipment. There won't be anyone out here today because it's just too wet. And there is a little bit of a pause in the actual rain. But, as you can see from the clouds, uh, this is going to continue to go on. So, why is it raining so much? Well, basically we have changes in our stratosphere. Now, I'm not up to date on meteorology, so basically, if you want to know what's going on, check out the channels like Paul Beckwith. But, I know you got beautiful eucalyptus trees, and they plant all eucalyptus trees all along the side, and the lorikeets, they're just loving it. So. Up in that one looks like we've got a, either a bird's or a possum's nest. And the geology of this place is pretty much just basalt. Which, now all this has been developed so you're not going to find any of the actual volcanic rock here. So just have a quick walk. Uh, down to the actual lake which is an artificial lake and you can tell I've had a lot of rain based on all the water that's in the storm gutters And this rain should actually ease up because there's not supposed to be much rain today. But because we're in Western Victoria, uh, a lot of the storm has actually moved towards the east of Victoria. So over Gippsland, probably even over Melbourne. But we'll see Melbourne anyway tomorrow. And here we have Lake Hamilton. There's a bird there, Mars Lapwing. Yeah, that's a that's a horror bird. That one would uh, has spikes on it. So I don't even know what's wrong with this gimbal, which keeps on going on its side. So this lake is artificial. It has been dammed by. So. I'm not actually going to walk to the dam, but this is a Grange Burn. That's what the river is, is called. It's just a, a small river, what we will term as a creek. Because a lot of the places you can actually... Um, <laughs> this thing's playing up. change so when you turn it around what we see here is just as all being built up so all we have down below is just cement and you've got the dam over this way and Hamilton actually looks quite nice
And you've got purple swamp hen. It's a pretty harmless bird. Nice, beautiful purple colour. And we have some bank sears. So these are like, they call them bottle brushes because it looks like a bottle brush. The actual flower head. And over here, yeah, another giant eucalypt. So that one's probably just a guesstimate. I would say that one is probably yeah, at least 50 years old, 50 to 100. Let's see. It's a lot of grass. I wouldn't actually walk into there because uh, you probably can slip and fall down. Yeah, but yeah, basically this is a Lake Hamilton and over the other side you have a that's the older part of Hamilton. All this is actually newer. This has been built up in the last 50 years. This area of Hamilton's uh, probably 50 to 150 years old. A lot of structures are built in the 1860s and 70s. And it's quite nice. So there's not much about the geology around here except that it's all basalt. Underneath should be probably all Division country rock. Uh, as we see. Oh shit. Okay. in the soils. The soils are black. It's a black clay that you find on uh, that's derived from basalt, what really a night. And it's a dark colour because it has a lot of organic material in it. So when basalt weathers, it goes like a creamy colour at first. Then it gets organic material and it starts to go darker. So obviously this has been weathered quite a long period of time. Ah, uh, but the volcanoes are towards the south. Uh, volcanic vents, so you've got Mount Eccles and Mount Napier, which are the two largest, and they're only about oh, five or six thousand years old, something like that. Uh, last time I was about Mount Napier is about 7.3 thousand years old, so they're pretty recent. Although dates can change, depending on the dating technique. And most of it's our scoria. We have a lot of fissure volcanoes, in which the evidence of the actual fissures no longer exists. And uh, here's some push bike. Been damaged. And these houses are more recent, so. They've been here ever since I've been here since 1997. So they're probably 80s or 90s houses, but they're quite nice. Anyway, it's probably going to 
piss down soon, so I better go back. Wife is probably going, where are you gone? I don't know. I think I went to hell and back. They're these uh, long-billed corellas, which are endemic to the region. And these are actually so they've actually migrated to Melbourne. They never used to ex exist in Melbourne, especially when as a kid when I remember. They're a bit startled by me. Oh, they'll be back. This is what they're doing. They're digging up the ground looking for seeds and food. So obviously this is a good place for them to eat. They'll be back. These people have nice gardens. So they must do a lot of work on it. That's a lot of uh So they have a lot of quartz. It's probably sedimentary rock. In it. I don't know, you got some basalt, so you know, when you walk around people's gardens you see you've got vesticular basalt garden yeah, quartz a lot of people don't have rocks and then you've got concrete that's made out of rock limestone basalt's in it then you've got this might be original might be fake The actual soils, uh, more basalts.
And this is where it ended. Basically where I started. So I hope you like that little walk down to the actual lake. Obviously not much geology in this area. Uh, but next time when I come down, I will take you on a tour on the various geological aspects. Go to, uh, go to Grampians, very interesting. Go to Rocklands Reservoir. They also have it on the rock range. Uh, they have a oh, some type of mining operation which you can go to and have a look. You need a mining license for that. And you've got you know various waterfalls, one and like Greta. You've got other beautiful places you can actually go to. Anyway, thank you very much. Have an awesome time learning about geology.